Welcome to Crafty Kirsten. Today we are going to try to make book covers kind of like this um, for these little composition notebooks that you can buy from Walmart. It was a three pack for 50 cents. Um, what we're going to actually do though is we're going to use our foil quill, try to use our foil quill to put some design on some faux leather um, to make the cover a little bit cuter. Uh, what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to set up a design here. I'm going to flip it upside down. Um, I'm also going to try and see if I could score this to give me a good cut line. So I'll have the design here for the front cover of the notebook. And then this will be for the spine in the back. So it'll be blank. Um, I've already measured this. This this little notebook is about four and a half inches up and down, about three and a quarter inches wide. So what I've done is... Let's bring you guys over to here. Sorry about that. Make some adjustment here real quick. All right, I'm over here at the computer. I have already set up in design space my design. Um, yeah, I've got right, right here, this is gonna be four and a half inches by seven inches. This is gonna be my score line for me to figure out, just in case you can't see, figure out where I'm gonna end up doing the overall cut for the cover. I've got right here about three and a quarter inches wide. This is just a barbed wire design. This is going to be in one color. I'm going to use rose gold. Then I also have my initials that's going to be drawn out. Um, this is going to be more of a hot pink when I try and do this. Hopefully this all works. I don't know how it's going to work with two layers. I do know though the Cricut is going to want to score first and then it's going to want to do the drawing tool. So I've already got the stylus loaded, but let's go ahead and start this up. I'm hitting make it. And here's a little bit better look of what it's going to be. Um, again, I'm only going to be putting the design on the top cover. I'm not going to put the design across the whole thing, at least not yet. Maybe the next shot. So I'm going to hit continue. I have two machines. I have an Air 2 and I have a Maker. So I'm just going to select the Air 2 for right now. And once this loads, it will say to insert the score tool first. So let's go back over to the machine and let's start this up. All right, we are back at my Air 2. I currently have heating up my foil quill in the B slot just so that way it's warming up and it's not going to cause any problems anywhere. In the A slot, I have my scoring tool because the design space specifically says to use the uh, score tool first. Again, I'm just going to be trying to do a score line to see where the overall cut is going to be. Just trying to make my life a little bit simpler, hopefully. And also not to waste so much faux leather. I don't know how this is going to work. We'll figure it out. Um, I'm going to kind of push this foil quill power cable behind so it doesn't get caught up in anything. And let's go ahead and start doing this, setting this up. I already have the faux leather loaded. I have it taped down with some painter's tape. I also have the first layer of the, um, the foil on here because as soon as we're done scoring, we're going to go straight into um, using the foil. So I've just uh, used some post-it tape on here to hold it down. I'm hoping I have it secured enough. So right now, let's just go ahead and load this sucker into the uh, into the air two, and that hopefully will be good enough. Let me just take this. I've got a lot of layers on here, so let's hope this will be good. Um, my foil quill phone focus. Sorry, I have issues with this machine with this cell phone focusing. Um. The again, the foil quill has been heating up for about two or th it's about three or four minutes now. So by the time it's done scoring, we should be good to go straight into to uh, using the foil. So let's go ahead and start our project again. At this point in time, it is just going to start with scoring, which is fine because it's just scoring the leather. Haha, <laughs> that's awesome. All right, let's go ahead and take this out. I'm gonna pause this and fix this. All right. All right, so lesson learned, two lessons learned actually. One is that don't use the scoring tool with foil loaded. Okay, so that's always a good one because it will just lift up. And two, um, trying to score on leather doesn't work. 
So that's pointless. So I'm just going to bypass that now and I'm just going to go ahead and try and get this reloaded back in here. Now this post-it just does not want to stick down. Hang on, let me try and see if I can take this down a little bit better. I was hoping to just use some simple post-it tape just because it was a little bit more friendly um, where it doesn't lift up so much, but it doesn't seem like that's going to work. Okay, so let's start our design. Again, we're going to try and do two different color designs. I have the other... Oh, I have the other foil already ready. This is not looking good so far. Oh, it's trying to rescore again. Dang it. All right, that's... That's... That's awesome. Um, press the go button. I did. I don't have good hopes for this. Here, let me see if I can pause it. And let's see if we can stretch this a little bit cleaner. Because this foil is just not looking so good. It's come up loose. Well, it's all a learning experience for us, and this is why I'm doing this video, so that way, if something doesn't work out, I can screw it up, so that way you don't have to, right? Everything in life is a good learning experience. Well, let's just see how it works. Uh, it'll either come out or it won't. We'll figure it out, though. So based on how this did not work well at all, <laughs> um, well, actually, let's do the reveal. Before I go any further, look, before I say anything else, okay, that actually kind of is cute. Didn't come out the way I wanted it to, but it's it's all right. Um, what I think, though, I'm going to do is use this portion of the leather to make some earrings. Um, I need at least seven inches in order to make a new notebook cover, and I've got it. Barely, but I've got it. I'm actually going to come up with a different design and do it right here. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and pause this video. Um, I'm going to redo a design. So let me put... Where did I put the heat protector thing? I'm going to put this underneath my foil quill. Um, give me a couple minutes. I'm going to stop the video and we're going to redo this with a different design. 
All right, thanks. Okay, so I have put foil down again. Um, I have created a new design where I'm just shifting it over a little bit. I am using the painter's tape to hold the foil down on the faux leather because obviously the post-it stuff just did not work. Um, so quite a few little lessons learned. I am going to stick with this for earrings probably. Um, so I'm just shifting over and doing a different design, something a little bit less complicated. Um, let's hope this works. Um, so we're going to try this again. Okay. Uh, I felt that that did not load straight. There we go. Okay. Let's do this again. That's it. Nice and easy. Use a lot of foil, but that's okay. Let's put our little foot back underneath. So remind, remember, this is going to be the front cover for the notebook, and it's going to wrap behind. So that's why I, when I fed it in, I did it to the left of the design. When you flip it over, it'll make sense. I did a very simple design. So let's see. Let's do it like this. Let's go ahead and do our little reveal. And I'm just going to keep these to the side because I'm probably going to reuse them for the next project. I used a lot more foil than I needed to, but I wanted to make sure I had good coverage. So I feel like I wasted a lot of foil for this little itty bitty design. Um, but I'll rework, I'll figure out the best way to do, um, to do proper cutting and stuff like that later. But what I did, if you guys can see, it's just a basic soldier, a little soldier. So I'm going to pause it and I am going to turn this into the notebook cover. All right, so here is the finished product. I've got my little notebook and cover. It's turned out pretty well. I kept it simple. 
I'm thinking if you're going to start out, uh, keep it simple and not so intricate because I've already done two intricate detail, detailed uh, designs first off and they both kind of failed. So I'm going to stick to simple for now. And then that leather turned out um, to provide me two kind of cute little earrings, some drop style earrings. So um, it wasn't necessarily a fail. I learned some things. I learned to use painter's tape on faux leather when I'm using the foil quill. I learned that the scoring tool will lift up your foil um so don't use it plus it'll actually put foil it could put foil even though it's not even though it doesn't have heat it, it still could put foil on your design um what else keep it simple so i firmly believe in kiss keep it simple stupid so i'm going to stick to that um but i also learned that even if you screw up you can make something pretty out of it so anyways, I hope you enjoyed this lovely lesson about the foil quill and your cutting machine. Um, please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Uh, thank you for watching Crafty Kirsten. Have a good one.